Hello everybody, my name is Sasquatch, and welcome back to Storytime Saturdays. So we've got actually a brand new game for you guys since we've completed Stray last time. And uh, I figured since it's Halloween month, it's spooky season, let's do something. Frogwares. Using Unreal Engine 4, if I remember correctly. Inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, Sinking City depicts an era in which ethnic, racial, and other minorities were frequently mistreated by society. These prejudices... Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. The Sinking City. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and mess around with our settings real quick here. Maybe there. Let's try there. Does that work okay? Does that sound a little bit better? Maybe. I'm hoping so. I know I'm a quiet talker. I can turn myself up a little bit more. Mine's fine. Okay. Game's still a bit loud. Maybe go right there. See if that's a little better. Audio testing. Fun stuff. Okay. Should be good to go then. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I know very little about this game. I watched the trailer. Um, my partner showed me the trailer, she's the one who said that this might be a good idea to give it a try for spooky season. So let's see what we got here. Frosty welcome. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. Turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such, case, such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and if the person who might help you with it, prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes van der Berg. Interesting. Let's see what we are getting ourselves into. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> U.S. Navy. Did you see something while... Ooh. <laughs> Don't like that. Right now? Oh, oh, 
that's trippy. Oh. What the what? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, don't fall. Of course you're gonna fall. Why? Right into the maw. And we're back on the boat. Or wherever we are. There's some nasty looking scars, pal. What are those from? Hmm. Okay, I guess we're in it now. Don't even know our name yet. Movement is very fast, but turning is not. Oh, okay, we might have to mess with that a little bit. Okay, let's see. Options, settings, gameplay. Uh, let's see. Is this not okay. okay. Not gonna be under difficulty, is it? No. a little better. Still feel like it could be up just a little bit more. Doesn't quite match my movement and I'm not not too happy with that. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Still feels kind of draggy though. How do we okay. So X to pick up things up. Charles Reed. Okay, so that's my name. It appears to be. Okay, that's what we read earlier. He's a gun. Oh, I can inspect it. Hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. Oh. If I hold X, then I can actually... Okay. Interesting. Circle to crouch. Can't jump, it seems. Oh, okay. R1 is our melee attack. Okay. And then there's... Okay. Interesting. Okay, so how do I interact with this? Oh, I guess that's what it was. Okay, cool. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Monolith National Park is waiting for you. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Okay, all right. We're on a boat. Doors blocking that way, so I guess we got to go talk to this this dude. What's up, chum? Now get out! Okay, jeez. Dang. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Mm. Reaching Oakmont is no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. 
to its say. unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Lee. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Sure. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Well, what do you mean by that? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Says the guy wearing that, but okay. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. <laughs> Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... Charming. Don't <laughs> judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Indeed. That's the best way to get around Oakmont. I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Cool, I get a boat right away. Too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is sure. insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. The local's not very friendly, it seems. Got it. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No <laughs> better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, guess so. For now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Sus. Immediately sus. Okay. Ooh. Quite a large town. Looks like we've got quite a bit to explore. Okay. Uh, city Port, Hospital of St. Mary, Devil's Reef Hotel, Oakmont Chronicle, Police Department, looks like another hospital, ooh, the Asylum, University Library, City Hall, got it, okay, alright, Information streams and districts are shown on the map from the beginning. Most other landmarks and points of interest have to be discovered. Institutions with archives, landmarks, fast travel points, investigation scenes, investigation scenes, key evidence, all evidence collected. Okay, interesting. Uh, place marks on the map uses to plan your route or note places of interest. Evidence marks are shown for the currently select case only. Select another case in the case book to see. Okay, okay. Case. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh. Casebook contains your main case, which reflects your overall story progress. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Evidence. Okay. Crucial information about what to do and where to go next. To get evidence, interact with objects and people, combine the clues in your mind's palace, and take photos. The white frame in the camera viewfinder indicates you are aiming correctly. Interesting. Read evidence closely to identify important locations, and then pin it on the map to plan your routes. Okay. Pin evidence in the HUD. Just the map. Mind's eye. What is this? Use mind's eye whenever you see distortion in the corners of the screen and hear a ringing sound. It may reveal images of the past, illusions, omens, or tracks that are otherwise invisible. I interesting. Images of the past have an activation zone. I see above. Weird. Follow the omens. Mind's eye can reveal omens that guide your way. Follow them to find new evidence. Ritual cognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspects enough evidence in the scene, and a vision will emerge. Okay. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Okay. Mind's palace. Combine pairs of relevant clues to get evidence. Deductions. Some archives. Padlocks and weak points can be broken with a shot or a melee attack. Good to know. If you are crouched, hostiles are less likely to detect you. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Excuse me? I, I realize I'm going to have to use my gun at some point, but what is that? Enemies may harm your sanity as well? What? Some enemies have unique abilities that may come as an unpleasant surprise, but most have weak points too. Okay. And when supplies are scarce, scavenging, crafting, and quest rewards are the only sources of supplies. Guns are not going to reload themselves. Yeah, I guess not. There's diving sections. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. Oh boy. Alright. Well, damn. Oh, uh. Oh. Oh god. No. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Don't like that. Welcome to Oakmont. A town on the rise. Yeah, I, uh. I see that. Rising tide, maybe. Sheesh. This place has definitely seen better days. Hi. These residents don't, uh, don't look too well. Under the meal bar. I don't joke. care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. What's this guy steal? If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance <laughs> is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Right. 
take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burnt Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to <laughs> mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Cool, you're racist, got it. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or Ridden City rocking. will do a damn thing. There we go. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Rude. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. Rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. So Let's I've noticed. Just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, <laughs> you have a point, newcomer. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Rude ass. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Okay. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. As okay, much as then. I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you're real heartbroken. So this is the fisherman's house. You said turn left, and there's a beach. This way, I assume. I want to go check out the boat first. I'm probably not going to the right direction. Maybe we'll just investigate the house first. This is the house, right? No, maybe not. Well, okay then. Stop I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. Charming. What's your deal? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Oh, they were making it seem like this was, this was the house. Can I knock it in? Maybe there's another way in. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, well, uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and mark the hotel. Say blocked passage. Oh, okay. This 
Souls, I should actually pay attention to my compass. How do I use the mind's eye again? Hold X to see the full picture. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. my vision for a moment there, that's odd. Oh, I saw some light up on the ground there. Okay. So everything's been found there. Doesn't seem I can sprint, looks like this is the fastest I can go. Oh no, I can I can sprint a little bit faster. Okay. Let's go explore a little bit. Are under the Neil. Sure. Oh. Hey. Got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Bullet, huh? You just push on the doors to open them. Hey yo, what's up, friends? Okay, so I just gotta just go in. Yep. R three for flashlight. Climb up there. There's also stairs. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Indeed. Looks like I might have something over there. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, uh, that sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was that or starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do 
you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Hey, have mercy on his soul. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our Lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or Kay? Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Hmm. here oh, middle scrap okay that's yeah, wild how it kind of distorts my vision after using it for a while oh I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella he was beaten to a pulp Ooh, gruesome oh What was that? Oh, jeez. Okay, what the what was that? There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. I'm sorry, why did I just put my gun to my temple? Can someone explain that to me? like this before. Masterful work. Hmm. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Anything on the back? No. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Started. What's happening? Take this, ape face. 
<laughs> yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Again, voices. sense. Okay. Can I just select any of these? Oh, okay. As an in Smelter Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons, that could be a reason to hate them. Okay. was dangerous and posed a threat to Louis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Albert Thorne spread some sort of psychic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Creepy. Hold on, what do we have here? So the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Hmm. So the fish. Okay, so 
wants me to. Okay. He wants me to go this way. Okay. Did I miss it? Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Looks like he hit it that way. I hate the handprints all over everything, that's super creepy. Please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping around about the port. But don't worry, I've snuck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. Oh, that's blood. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Let's take a look around this floor though, just in case we... Yeah, we don't want to miss nothing. Gunpowder. Okay. Can I craft my own bullets? That might end up being a thing. Looks like we can go up. Or maybe we can't. go. More blood. Hello. Neat. <sighs> the door won't budge. Oh, we've got a solution to that, I think. <gasps> there we go. Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. All right. That that is a nope. That is the thing that I saw earlier. I I don't have any bullets. I have my melee weapon. That's it. Am I going to have to kill you with my melee weapon? I am, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, come here, you. Let's go. Let's go. Hold still. Okay. Ugh. Oh, God, look at its fingers. What is that thing? Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Ooh. Well, evidence collected. All right. Hiding in the bar in Oakmont Port. Got it. Okay. Well, I guess now we can go, uh, unfortunately, talk to uh, Mr. Throgmorton. Oh, another one. Oh, that's so gross. 
there was a second one. It's strange. Alright, well. Oh, can't go up that way. Okay. Alcohol. Well, we could go talk to Mr. Throgmorton right away, or we could maybe. Oh, just. Wow, this place really is sinking. Or we could uh, head towards the bar. We could maybe see what we could find. I might not have everything here. Because it's only yellow, not green. Okay. I suppose I didn't check these areas. Let's see what's laying about in here. Looking up the other side, too. Can I? Maybe not. dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Curious. I was gonna say, come on, I should be able to climb up there, right? I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Talk to him. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, noted. I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible, and when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a by a warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Thorborn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. Mm -hmm. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag and I'll help you with anything you need. Hmm. If you say so, pal. You're still pretty damn sus. the 
bar that I recommended I check out. Your drinking is very loud. And I kind of hate that. Welcome to Under the Kill. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, witchy lady. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll <laughs> make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Hmm. Thank I'm curious. You. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Mm -hmm. I got a trophy for tempting fate. Mm -hmm. Big sus. Why are you on the floor? What the? Get the. Oh. <laughs> All right. I assume this is the door. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we... We were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape... He was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. 
After that, can't remember a thing. <laughs> you shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Hmm. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. <laughs> I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right, those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further. Mr. Flynn. Very sus. Okay, uh, let's do the mine palace again and see what we can. Yeah. It doesn't seem like he was mentally affected, but it almost seems like whatever happened to him amplified his already. Um, very, uh, hostile ideologies towards the Throgmortons. So it leaves me to wonder. He seems like he was mentally affected, and being that the other, the other guy that was there was heavily affected, leads me to believe that he was affected himself. Was killed to Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him, or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like before we even go talk to Throgmorton, we should, uh, talk to the police, if you ask me. What we got going on here? 
The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Right. This is all cut off over here, so I can't go that way. I suppose we'll probably have to talk to Throgmorton, huh? Just trying to have a look around and see what's what. Say it can help the fence. Looks like I can walk myself into a corner. Story of my life. Well, it still says that. Fisherman's house is still yellow. I don't know why that would be like that. But it would appear that because of that, <laughs> that I don't have all the clues yet. So maybe I just need to come back now that I've figured things out. Crap. Lock it again. I don't know what I missed here. I don't know if I have missed anything. I hear. I still hear those voices. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Still don't know what happened to this guy. Hmm. Curious how my world keeps distorting like that. <sighs> I've said everything I know. Maybe we just gotta talk to him again. Mm. Bye. I still feel like I don't have everything. Gotta be something else here. But what? What could I be missing? The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Let's see what you find, new It would fella. take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Oh, hello. Five okay. cards short of a full house. There we go. There's our evidence. change anything here? No. There really are 
are making me pick a side here, aren't they? Throckmorton deserves to know how his son died. However... Lewis... Definitely doesn't seem like he was guilty, per se. But I don't know if there's really much else that I can do. I just have to tell Throckmorton the truth, unfortunately. Just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throckmorton's justice. As sweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. <laughs> Remind me, what brought you to a I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the Flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice combing from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. <laughs> so I sent men to find out. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's Perfect. all you can tell me? Let me be clear. Do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course... You've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Okay. And that's where we, uh... Okay. 
Alright. Well, let's uh, take a look at that map. Let's see what we got here now. Bar, hold on to the fort. Okay. Old Grove. Throgmorton Manor. Got it. Okay. Find a passage. Well, I think I think this is where I want to head next. So I should be able to leave now. Hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Okay. with this weird out-of-body experience. Oh, it's a giant monster again. Oh. Must have somehow made it to the hotel. Let's see. Robert Throgmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Robert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive. Throgmorton will be waiting for my report in his manor in Southern Old Grove. Oakmont keeps its mouth shut. Interesting. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops, only you remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive and reach the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The official said none of what I thought I had seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. I'm curious. Dog Never things. again, they say. Please for help. Dear Mr. Reed, I understand you are the private eye that caught the murderer in the port. My life is in danger, and I cannot trust anyone in this city. Please come to my room, which is just opposite yours. I'm in despair. My studies have drawn the attention of vile forces. They stalk me and will take me soon. I have lost my I've cast my lot and am beyond saving. But the seven books must be saved at any cost. Even if I'm gone, find my notes there. This knowledge must not be lost, as it could be our kind's last hope for enlightenment. Please be the bearer of this light, for I have failed. What? <laughs> Ooh, I got outfits. Plague Doctor! Yes! 
Oh, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh. Aspiring sleuth. Cool. Okay, well, um... Is there really much of a difference? Not really, just like the, the fur of the coat. And the lack of a backpack. Let's put on that one. Cool. Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. Okay, so... Inventory. So can I, I craft stuff? Okay. Miscellaneous. First aid kit. Antipsychotics. A shot of powerful antipsychotics to keep your mind clear when you need it. Ignore the side effects list. <laughs> okay. First aid kit. Yep. Pistol. Revolver. And SMG. Interesting. Okay. I like me a good revolver, so I'm going to go ahead and craft a bunch of bullets for that. Cool. And... Med kits. Okay, looks like a mob supplies there. That's fine. Oh, there's a skill tree too. Okay. Combat proficiency, vigor, and the mind. What do we got here? Yeah, no, I have three knowledge points. Okay, carry up to 25 pieces of any crafting material. Previous skill. So you gotta start here, basically. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. Okay. More experience from all sources. Even more experience. Remain sane for much longer. Okay. Gain a 50% chance to double quest reward items. Oh, that would, that would be nice. What else do we got here? Set traps twice as quickly, keep extra bullet loaded, getting a chance to deal double damage with the pistol, okay, carry seven more pistol rounds, when close to death, slowly regenerate a limited amount of health for one last fighting chance, I feel like that's kind of gonna be helpful, <laughs> falling from heights deals half the damage, man eating, man eating eels, what? <laughs> Deal half the damage to you while swimming. Oh god! Vitality increases, increases further. Melee attacks deal slightly more damage. Okay. One more first aid kit and antipsychotic. One more grenade and firebomb. Oh. Okay. Six more revolver rounds. Shotgun rounds. Cool. More rifle rounds. More SMG rounds. Okay. I think I'm going to use my last skill point to get this other side of the mind thing. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. That is one nasty bathroom. That's a blacked out mirror. Oh, well, that's fun. Braids on in smelters. The number of attacks on the in smelt immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying with more and more in smelters. Exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes whole families are found dead in their houses. Jeez. Police are on the case with several illegal in smelter businesses captured and their owners sent to jail. The city ought to have been cleaned of those fish-faced scum long ago, said Robert Throgmorton, head of the Throgmorton Grand family. I regret only one thing, it all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would still be here with us. Uh, that's fun. I may or may not have started that. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take one, take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time, Johannes. Oh, all right then. 
Okay, so dude from the room right across the Makes this place feel more like home. <laughs> I miss Boston already. Chucky Sings, Metal Scrap. Okay, so is this the place that the note was talking about? No? Maybe this one? Yep, that looks right. Whoa. Talking with locals is never easy, but this old chap was one of the queerest yet. He was happy to talk about the book, but only laughed when I proposed to buy it. I left it in the most guarded place of the city and paid enough to keep it there until the world ends, and if it is abandoned after the flood, even better. Ignorance is the best guardian. I'm guessing he meant the abandoned bank building in Northern Advent on Forefather Street between Halog Street and uh, Wind Half Avenue. Alas, it was to be da too dangerous to go there by myself. Tome in the ruins. Local women were talking about a ruined house in Central Coverside near the radio tower on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. They said the ghosts of the house owner and his family still read the unholy book they kept. Several newcomers who tried to settle in those ruins have gone mad. More cases of insanity. <coughs> the nightmares. I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They are just men, the Yellow King's gang. They can't get here now. Now there's only me, me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. The fishermen talk of a place near the Blackwood Manor on the southern part of Whisper Street where the meetings occur in the dead of night. The locals don't like this part of the eastern Grimhaven Bay because they seem to fear those who gather near the half-built ships. They say a certain book is read at these meetings, a cursed tome that makes people, people so crave the sea's touch that they go and drown in the ocean. The one reading the book stands on a cursed boat that sinks in the fog. Those who saw it touch the shore have either gone mad or disappeared. Bewitched Tome. The local legends may be more than mere superstition. A dozen witches were hanged in a huge apple tree that still grows near the cedar mill. Among these documents is a confession. One of the witches said the devil himself granted them a book with words of power. This book hides itself from mortal eyes, waiting for the witches to be reborn and return to claim it. The witch who wrote this confession lived in eastern Reed Heights, somewhere north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Could the book still be hidden there? Curious. I had a dream so real it still makes my hands shake. A huge ferris wheel rose amidst the city. People got on and rode it higher and higher before jumping off at its peak. As the pile of corpses grew bigger, the crowd pushed me into the wheel. And then I saw a man with a leather bag. He was standing on the center of the wheel and reading from a book. His awful... It's the guy with the book again. His awful dirge was making the wheel rotate and dragging the crowd to their slaughter. Could this vision be real? I know there is a ferris wheel at the park in Western Old Grove near Century Ave and Beacon Street, but where could the book be? Hmm. Took a lot of effort to track down this book after being stolen from the Throckmorton Museum. It was brought by a local surgeon bought by a local surgeon who was found dead in his house after the flood. I snuck in and checked out his place, but in vain. Still, there is somewhere else the tome may be. The private hospital in Western Reed Heights, where the surgeon worked, has been abandoned. The archives say it is on Bourbon Road, between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. So many locations to try to remember. Vision's not gonna find anything else here. What do we have here? Building the church was his redemption day. Was his redemption day after day? He worked without payment, carrying stones and pulling them 
in the putting them in the moist soil of Salvation Harbor. At night when he returned to his house behind the church he would he could not sleep. The book his ancestors brought across the ocean called. When the church was built the priests found him hanged on the bell ropes. But the book is still waiting for someone to come and read it. His house is in Central Salvation Harbor on the old church road between Seven Oaks Street and Windheim Street and still has a bad fame and no one wants to live there even after the flood. Jeez. Alright, well, that's a thing. Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave your landlord. <sighs> the door won't budge. Hmm. I'll try all the doors. Well, it seems like only the gray doors are the ones that open. Okay, so... Down's gonna lead us, well, downstairs and probably out of this building. Curious to see if there's anything else up here, though. Oh, see? Okay, what do we have here? Some extra stuff. Gunpowder and alcohol. Nothing over here. Too many coincidences. So the lighthouse is out. Several ships have gotten lost at sea, and some are now decorating the city's beaches. That's one thing. That's one thing, but now there's an enterprising fellow at the city port hiring salvagers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence, need to look into it. Now, if only the city wasn't so impossible to navigate. Oh, that's, that's good news. Uh, I love hearing that the city's going to be impossible to navigate. That's wonderful. Thank you for that. I love knowing that it's going to be impossible for me to do anything or get anywhere. Hello. What's your deal? Hmm. Curious. Doesn't appear like there's even anything in here. So what's the purpose of this room? I guess we'll have to see. Maybe we'll end up coming back there at some point. Finally! You're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What What noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting a kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Got a bunch of stuff from him. Things in the ends, Maldonado's documents, too many coincidences. Keep it down. Yep. Okay. Doesn't really look like there's anything back here. Oh, there's a trunk or something. Some supplies. Nothing down here at the bar. Anything behind the bar, perhaps? back there, maybe? There we go. So my dear nephew, my dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? 
Should you require any support, the Blackwoods will be happy to help you. I've arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went. Sadly, only that he did not say stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Take good care of the hotel, please. Plenty of our relatives were interested in that property, uh, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Portilla. Okay. Anything hiding back here? No? Okay. So does that mean that there are other uh, rooms that I can go check out now? That I couldn't before? Oh, there's the crazy dude's room. There's my room. Doesn't look like it. Maybe, uh... <laughs> Door won't budge. Maybe I've already checked out everything. Okay, well, that's fine. Down here. What about the hobo signs? Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Local use signs to mark special places that you know already. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tradition dates back to times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meaning of some of them. You've seen the crooked H-shaped sign on doors around town. That means that the house is inhabited. The crosshatch grid sign marks hidden caches of useful items. The V-shaped sign is for barricaded dangerous places. Good catch there, they say. Uh, still haven't figured out the spiral-shaped sign, though. You'll have to investigate for yourself. Okay, something to take note of and try to remember. Walter, K help you if I hear you're peddling your cheap affordable living again. I could live my I could live with you renting out beast ridden flop houses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market and I have dangerous people living here that I can send after you. You've been warned, Vic. Hello. That was really weird. I got a whole bunch of laughing, thinking maybe it was coming from upstairs, but no, I don't think so. If this controller delay could stop, that would be really cool. <laughs> Fast travel point, Devil's Reef. Cool. I appreciate fast travel points, that's for sure. Okay. Well. What do we have here? Oh, is this the fast travel location? Okay, sure. That makes sense. Oh, that's what that means. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not ready for that quite yet. We're gonna heck off. Yep, yep, yep. We're we're gonna back right the right the hell out of there. Okay. Well, now we know, <laughs> so we're gonna avoid that for now. For now. Load my 
weapons. Cool. All right. It's a fascinating statue. I like this music. My Chronicle, Police Department, Hospital St. Mary, Fest area, John Morton Manor, the Asylum. Why don't we head down to the Police Department? Let's head in that direction. Like wants me to go that way. Can I just walk over here? Yeah, that works like maybe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, Almighty will punish the wretched by sending terrors unnamed. Creeping from the abyss below. Okay. You say so, pal. Five bullets, and I'll let you go around the world. <laughs> Let's see if we can find this police station. I'm guessing this must be it. Because everyone's just kind of crazy. So, hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? is access to your records during my investigations. Otherwise, I'll keep out of your way. Oh, that's all you want, is it? Was making us look like idiots in front of Mr. Throgmorton not enough for you? Well, maybe if you weren't I'm idiots, sorry. maybe you wouldn't have that issue. That wasn't my intent. Well, that's what you did. A newcomer must know his place. <laughs> Let me be frank. You ain't welcome. You slip up. Don't cross a T or dot an I. And I'll treat you like every other criminal in here, newcomer. Hey, easy, Officer Lyons. I don't want any trouble. Well, good. That's a start. You can use the archive, but only because you have Mr. Throgmorton as your patron. Keep that in mind, Reed. Well, he was pleasant. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look around. Anything in the jail cell? There's shackles! I mean, I guess. This is supposed to take place in, like, what, the 20s? Sheesh. Does that say Carl Lemons? Staff only. What do we got here? Case fools gold send gunners. Oh, hello. Here we go. Okay, police archive. Cool. Okay.
interesting. Okay. Can't go back there. Can't go there. Alright. Doesn't look like there's really a whole lot here for me. Got nothing to hide back there. No? Alright. Well, thanks for being absolutely unhelpful. Great. Well, let's maybe check out the Chronicle, see what we can find over there. Fast travel location? Cool. I just unlocked them by walking past them. That's helpful. It's all cut off over here. I'm curious. Pokemon Chronicle. This looks like the place. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I uh, think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. <laughs> the Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? Yeah, I, sure, uh, why not? I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a private eye in Boston. The situation in the port was a good use of my skills. Well, uh, Detective Reed, I, I think you'll find our city has a lot of secrets. Uh, but people may not like you poking your nose in. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes, uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? <laughs> I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. <laughs> Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Hmm. Yeah, I got a feeling I'll be coming back here. Newspaper archive. Okay. Side case stuff. Just from Pokemon. I've already read all these, I believe. Or maybe not. Okay, 
That I did read. Talking about the visions again. Interesting. To what may concern, I've heard someone has finally taken up my case. I'm glad a professional is working with me on this. I've heard people say I should get professional help. Now this time I have a plea for you. I am in danger. I have managed to procure one of the gold trinkets which has made me the target of the fishmen. I am being watched and follows, followed. Please send an armed escort so that I can be transported to the safety of the police department. My house is in South Advent on Purity Road between St. Michael's Road and Powderhouse Street. Regards, Sims. Alright, interesting. Okay. Pretty big city to explore. Definitely gonna have a uh, fun time navigating this place. Definitely seems like the kind of place that you could very easily get lost in. There's a park here. Seeing all this damage here leads me to believe that maybe this flood was recent. Also gotta appreciate how it's just constantly raining. That looks like something for a second there. Sometimes reflections will pop up and I'll think it'll be a, a thing. Turns out it's, it's nothing. I may end up having to kind of study the map a little bit and try to figure out exactly where I am, where I'm going at all times. I'm gonna have to at some point. Okay, this way it led back down towards the newspaper. These halls of chemistry. I'm actually not really sure where to go next. Southern Advent Purity Road 3. Okay, so that's for the Send Gunners thing. Okay, so it's for whatever I have selected as my main case. Okay. Okay, so what does it want me to do here then? Okay, so we gotta go to visit Throgmorton again. All the news that's fit to print. <laughs> what do we have here? A diner? Could be promising, maybe. Nope. Darn. Okay. 
this looks like it's kind of all What's blocked. Can I climb up this? No. So can I not get past this then? I gotta find another way around. Alright. Maybe what I'll have to do is uh, either off screen or something, go around and find all of the uh, fast travel locations so that way it's nice and easy to get around without having to worry about uh, roaming the streets aimlessly. Familiarize myself with the layout of the city. dark, very eerie. It's almost like the weather changes depending on which part of town I'm in. Odd. Looks like I gotta take the boat again. Is this it? Obituary, loving memory, Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, and descendant of a robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oakmont Poor, aged 25 years old. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and prayers sent by the citizens of Oakmont. And there he is. Now the mortician has touched him up well. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. Isn't that literally what I'm here for? That's literally what I'm here for. Alright, well, I suppose I can look around at the very least. Did more people show up? Spooky basement. Boarded up floor there. Hmm. Okay. Nothing really of interest down here. Grab something upstairs. Let's see what we can find. Bear rug. Real classy. Not many of them in this house will. This must be his room. Can't play the piano? Lame. This just leads out front, I assume. Or out back. Out front. Does it really matter? I don't know. I'm not in the mood for chit chat, Mr. Reed. Alright, well, I think that's probably a good place to stop, anyways. I'll be able to figure out what I gotta do next. Uh, maybe off screen so that I come in a little more knowledgeable. <laughs> well, if 
you stuck around for this long, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my content, head over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash sasquatchgame. Um, I will be live tomorrow, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for Sussy Sundays. We're going to be playing some Among Us again. Uh, hopefully we're going to be having some uh, more friends join us once again. That'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Y'all take care. Have a good night.